Hey, good afternoon. This is Spirit Journey, and um, today is June 11th, uh, 2015, and it's a Thursday. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that I uh, was introduced to maybe two or three days ago called Sigil Magic. And Sigil is spelled S-I-G-I-L. So Sigil Magic, and uh, some people call it Chaos Magic. And uh, this is kind of, this is really new for me. And um, again, on this spirit journey of mine, I, um, I'm allowing myself to explore different um, uh, sciences or disciplines to see what what works, what doesn't work, what's true, what's not true, etc. And uh, what central magic is, is um, like it, it's on the premise that our subconscious minds are very powerful and can influence what we do, what our conscious mind does, you know. Um, it's like you may have a fear of something, and you may not remember wh why, but your subconscious mind influences what you're actually thinking in the, in the present. And you might avoid certain things, or, or maybe, maybe how you feel about other people or yourself, and um, you know, oh, don't go over there, or oh, this person is this way or that way, and you know, it, it, you're not even aware of it, but your, your behavior uh, demonstrates that something is uh, navigating its responses, you know. And so with that as a premise, uh, many people have um, blocks in their life, you know, that, that they maybe, maybe they, they, Maybe they lost a job or something like that, and you know they're feeling down on themselves, and they might say, "Okay, maybe it's something in, my, in the back of my mind that is causing the problem, whatever." And so they want to try to overwrite that. So by introducing a new idea and having your subconscious mind to have a new thought of itself, a, a new idea that would be beneficial to that person, then if you could somehow tap into it and influence the subconscious mind, you, you'll you have a different outcome, you know, a, a favorable one, you know. So with that in mind, um, like, the such a house, what, what you do with such a magic, Okay, let's say, um, oh, that's an example. You, you write a sentence down, a, a desire. Uh, if it, uh, let's say, uh, oh, you'll, you'll, you'll get a, a, a boyfriend uh, in, in the next three months. I'm just throwing anything out there. Or, or let's say I'll, I'll lose weight. Um, uh, I'll lose uh, 10 pounds in, in uh, uh, two months, something like, let's try that one. I, I want to lose, I, I will lose weight, uh, 10 pounds in uh, two months. And so you write it down, okay? And then you, so all the, you know, you write it all in caps. And then all the vowels you cross out, Okay, and then the consonants such as like B, C, G, F, you know, letters like that. Um, any duplicate, you know, if you have two L's, let's say, you, you cross out one of the L's, you know, the thing that you wrote, and so on. And then, whatever letters that are left, you write them out, okay? 
just those that are remaining. Oh, also, some other people do this. Like, let's say, okay, since we're using all caps, um, let's say the, the capital letter L, as in Larry, and um, the... I'm sorry, let's try the letter M is in Mary and N is in Nancy. Okay, now let's say you, you're left with letters like that. Some people, like, you can cross out the N is in Nancy because the letter M, you can say, absorb the, the, um, the N, you know? So, I hope that makes sense. So, what, what you, you, your goal is to condense the sentence that you wrote to its raw form of just the essential uh, letters, you know. Uh, so the 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 M um, is almost like an M, and so you can think of it as is that that when you cross out the M, it's um, it's being included in the in the letter M is a Mary, you know. That inside of the M is an N, you know, if that makes sense. So, or maybe even a, a capital letter C and a G as in girl, you know, the C can fit right in there too, you know. So, I guess if you really want to make it condensed, you, you can do that as well. And then you just write out the remaining letters. And I was told that you could, like, the letters that you have remaining, you could do like a mirror image of it. Like like you write it out and then you could put a mirror underneath, you know, to see what it would look like as a reflection of it. And then you draw you, you write that down below. So you have the, 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 the positive image and the negative image underneath. You know, you don't have to do that, but it, it's a it's a method. And then you take the letters and um, you could arrange them in, um, let's see, you could do it by hand. You could like creatively, you know, overlap the letters. And so you want to make like a, a symbol, you know, that has all these the letters, remaining letters, and you could... Um, you know, artistically, you know, uh, change the kind of the shapes of the letters. Um, and if it's like, if you'd want to do the mirror image of it, you can have maybe the, the two halves, you know, mesh onto each other, you know. And then once you get the design that you want using the letters that you, you the remaining letters that you selected, um, it also recommended, well, a video, I should say, a video that I watched recommended that once you do that, you put a little, uh, you draw a little box inside of it, you know, and then, so this is your, your symbol, and your symbol is like a, a visual representation of the desired outcome that you want, and again, you're doing an outcome that is uh, positive to you, and it's not to be uh, to hurt anybody else. It's for for your edification, but and again, your edification is not to um, take advantage or hurt someone else. You know, again, do unto others that you would want someone to do unto you. You know, you could use that as a principle. Never do anything to harm anyone in, in any form, um, but for personal uh, edification to improve um, the qualities in your life. And um, then once you have the, the symbol, you uh, they say that you need to charge energy into it. And um, they, they, they gave examples that you could do. <laughs> Some of them were kind of, kind of contra controversial, but the, the main thing is your intent. Your intent is being put onto that object, you know, that drawing that you did. And um, you could, you know, prayer is a form of, you know, you putting energy onto something. And again, anything that you look at and you focus on, energy is um, drawn to it. You know, so 
uh, you could definitely pray. Um, they they suggested even like do something that will elicit uh, a a charge response in you. You know, so it's some people even say you're looking at it, a spooky movie, and then and and when you know that you're going to get scared at one point, you look at the paper. <laughs> it sounds really weird, but the main thing is that you put your energy onto it. You know. And then once that's done, they said you forget about it, and that the, the, the your consciousness is working on it. So it so even though you may not have it now, but that the universe is working on your behalf of this desired thing that you want, you know. And the more you put into the design. The more energy you put into it, the more powerful it is said to become. And um, you know, not to doubt it. Don't write down something that you doubt. You know, have um, faith in what you're doing at the time of what you're doing it, and uh, always have your intention in the design, what you're doing, and uh, charge it, and then you forget about it. You know. And um, some people might even, you know, have it around their home, whatever. You know, you you may think you you don't want to think about it, you know, uh, that, that you have it. So it's working on your mind subliminally when you do look at it, you know. It, it, it seems like they don't want you to remember what that particular symbol that you drew was for. So a lot of people seem to do more than one at a at a time. One person. Over the internet, said that that they like to make five different uh, symbols, you know, of different things, desires that they want, and uh, then he, then he just forgets about them, and uh, you know he might have them on the wall or you know in various parts of their dwelling, and so when they, their eyes do look at it, it's because they don't remember what that symbol was, you know that. It's working, but your subconscious knows, and it's working on it. You know, so I, so I, um, I actually did maybe four or five sigils. Um, I did one today and three yesterday, and uh, wow, I I did my sigils. I I didn't do it by hand per se. I did mine using a word document. You know. Word allows you to do what what is called word art. You know, so you go in a word document, like it's going to type a letter, and they have an option for uh, doing graphics. And this one was uh, word art. You know, and you select the the style of how you want the word put in it, and it allows you to manip manipulate the text. And so, because the first sigil video that I saw uh, utilized the technique of writing the initial uh, remaining letters and then duplicated it in uh, mirror images of each other and then put, put it in close in a box. So with the word document, it, it was used in word art. It allows you to duplicate and reverse I'll put it in a, a in a frame or a box, and um, you know you can manipulate the you know you can use so many different types of fonts. So I did each each sigil that I did, I I use different fonts just so, you know for variety you know, and because I don't want to really remember what the sigil was you know, and um, you know so that it's actually work on my subconscious. Mine. So I made a few of them. Uh, I think of them as affirmations, affirmations that are subliminal, and that is to encourage encourage me about certain things. And um, I probably like you know once I print them out, you know I probably will show you guys on you know my my uh, viewers what they look like and everything. And uh, I actually did this uh, one today, 
and um, it it comes to, I feel kind of embarrassed, but you know I I want to test to see whether something works or not, and uh, I um, gotta I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I don't know why I'm hedging to tell you guys, <laughs> but I I want to try uh, the the lottery. Yeah, I, let me let me put it out there. I I I'm interested in things that you could um, easily verify or not. You know, it's either you get it or you don't get it. So some people might say, well, if it works, it's great. If it didn't work, well, maybe you didn't put in enough energy or whatever. You know, in it, who knows? But I want to verify whether something's going to work for me or against me. Anything that's going to work for me and that is substantiated uh, as something that, that is a, uh, a powerful tool to use correctly, let me try it. And this is a new science slash metaphysic um, thing for me. And um, this is real. No, I would never think about doing this. Uh, even a year ago, but my, I, I'm allowing myself to try new things. So, with that being said, um, I'm gonna probably do a, a second video to let you know if uh, any of these uh, stitches I've done work or not. So, um, thank you for watching, and um, you know, share this video with, with your friends, family. Uh, you can comment below, uh, share this video, and again, as I say, you know, give me the thumbs up. So, peace to you guys. Bye-bye.